Laura Bates is a British writer on feminism and gender equality. She's mostly known for the Everyday Sexism Project she founded in 2012, which gives women from around the world a platform and a voice to speak up about their experiences with sexual harassment. This is Bates' first publication, released back in 2014, and it takes the thousands of stories that women posted on platform to construct a harrowing report of the various forms and shapes that sexism can take on. The author then spotlights certain posts from the project and weaves themed chapters around them, highlighting the many forms of sexual harassment going down in the workplace, during mother Hood, or just plainly in everyday scenarios. The book can therefore be hard to read at times, no matter whether you've experienced these forms of harassment or not, especially when so many of these instances had to be just seemingly shrugged off by the women affected, with a lot of these happenings being trivialized by society, surrounding friends or family. Without a proper voice to be heard or a network for support, a lot of these cases unfortunately never found proper justice. All the reports of the women in here are harrowing, but in all their abundance and anonymity, every one of these stories lose their weight and punch a little bit. There are just too many of them in the book, all posted by nameless and faceless internet nicknames. For someone who thinks of himself as being fairly progressive on the matter, there was not much new to learn here for me. I would have loved if the book would have showed me new angles on the matter, went more into the nuanced details of the issue, but it's somewhat stuck on the surface level throughout. Still, I would love to force every misogynist out there to read this book nevertheless, as its overall message is still an important one to get into people's hats. This book is tailored around sexual harassment against women, and rightfully so, as it's a big issue still. But man too can be the victim of sexual harassment, and Bates therefore dedicated a whole chapter to it. Unfortunately, her takeaway message here is that man can handle sexual abuse way better than women, and what happens to them is also not that bad, so therefore it's not as much of an issue. So there's that. It obviously feels a bit weird now, as a dude who has never experienced that form of sexism described in the book, to now go on and give this book just three stars. But that's not me criticizing the overall message, but rather the book itself. As a man who substantially educated himself on sexism over the years, I think I can say that this one reads a bit like a very first introduction to the topic from 10 years ago, which it is. Maybe it's time for an updated version that goes deeper and factors in recent advancements we've made in the discussion. I would definitely read it. For more book reviews, check out this playlist right here. Thank you and see you next time. Ciao.